We'll get you the help you need. Let's just come on. This is so good. This is so good. Oh my god, this is the greatest video of all time. I don't give a f artificial intelligence made it. This is such a good video. I have tears. I have like tears of joy coming out of my eyes. Come on, John, please. <laughs> Look at the other cop's face. He's like, oh shit. All right, listen, let's start. When a corrupt cop realizes he's been caught. On a Chu, who on the afternoon of April 27th, 2018, had been driving in his truck erratically on Breakwater Road towards Route 9 and almost crashed multiple times. Police officers were later called by concerned neighbors, but when they arrived at the scene, they would never have expected their boss to be the one causing the trouble. Why? What do you mean? Cops love drunk driving. This is a silly start. Hey, LT, how you doing? Let me hold it on you driving erratic. Erratic driver. Get it home. Oh. Hey, I'm sorry to bother you. Um, um, my mic's live, so you know, at this point, I mean my uh, camera. We had an erratic call, driver call. Um, it, Lieutenant Chu. After recognizing who they were dealing with, the officer then... He's like... It's like when a streamer is like, hey, I'm live, by the way. Don't say anything fucked up. <laughs> he goes on his radio and makes the report, not without mentioning that his mic is on as well as his camera, meaning that everything they will be doing is being recorded. Did you see who was... Did you tell him to stand by? Having shown concern for who it is that they're dealing with, the officers then mention the body cams they have, and one of them decides to turn it on after having turned it off once he saw the lieutenant. You on? Yes. You? Yeah. You're not. Turn it on. Uh, it's, I switched the cameras out. What did he say? I, I was behind him. I was, or I was behind you. Did you get any? Yes. Do oh my god. We gotta do what we gotta do is one of the main reasons as to why body cams exist in the first place. If there had not been any, what happened in the following minutes would have definitely not been the same. Yeah, 100p, okay? This is why James Comey, FBI Director James Comey once said when he was the FBI Director under Barack Obama that body cameras actually cause more crime. This is what he meant by it. We're gonna have a lot of Empty clip on the lieutenant. Yeah, they would have fucking, they would have buddy fucked him, dude. They would have blue falconed the fucking uh, lieutenant. They would have dropped a grenade in the car and, and walked away. <laughs> no, they would have, <laughs> what do you mean? They, they would have let him go. They would have been like, sir, please keep driving as erratically as you can, okay? Go ahead. 458. Don't, you told him to just hang tight. Mm -hmm. You didn't observe any alcohol in the thing or anything. I know you probably don't. This high truck. Is there an odor yet or anything? No. You didn't get an odor? Dude, you know, he's like, what do we do here? Maybe there is an odor, but I don't want to say on your fucking body camera because your camera's on. Alright. I, I think these are state troopers, by the way. That looks like state trooper uniforms, no? For the record. Just so I don't know, I can't pick them up. No? We're gonna have to pull them out. We're gonna have to pull them out. Hey, I'm gonna be um, late picking. I'm not gonna be able to pick you up. Can you drive in? We have an incident. Now, nah, my, my mic's live. We have, we're on a 38 right now with uh, someone we work with. Hang on one second. Hang on one second. We had an erratic driver call um, Lieutenant Chu, with Lieutenant Chu. Um, we pulled him over. We're doing... Dude, this is so awesome. Dude, the mental gymnastics he's going through to be like, I don't want to do this. I don't even want to report on it, but I'm kind of forced to now because the camera's on. <laughs> And he's like, dude, I don't know what to do. It's Lieutenant Chu. What the fuck? So we're doing some investigation right now. I'm waiting for Lieutenant Philly coming back. So I'm, I'm going to be late picking up, obviously. If you could drive in. All right. All right, thanks. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, up. shit. First time a cop has ever felt conflicted about, you know, arresting someone. It's awesome. 
Hang on. After trying to reach out to another lieutenant to figure out what to do and talk. Every job has its benefits. I work at the grocery store, so I get to take home free croissants. This is the cop equivalent of not being able to take home your croissants. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? Just a little drunk driving. Like, it's legal if I'm a cop, right? Isn't that Talking to another police officer and explaining the situation, the police officer at the scene asks if they can turn the body cams off for a conference, which of course uh -huh. is not true, and it's just an attempt. Dude, his face. Dude, I'm sorry. With all the censorship on this video, you can still get a fucking glimpse of my man right here. He's beautiful. He is so beautiful, dude. He's like, can we shut these off? Come on, partner. And turn the body cams off for a conference, which of course he's doing the cop stance too. Hands on the belt. This is not true, and it's just an attempt to not do what they have to do in this case. Yeah, we're not going to mute our cameras at all or anything. Okay. Absolutely. Yep. All right, see. We're going to have to pull them out. We can't mute our cameras. We can't do anything. Let's hope. Hopefully, he's all right. Safe to drive. Edward's just coming in. You know this is kind of a green cop, okay? There is 0% chance that, like, an actual uh like older fucking cop would have just been like yeah we can't do it we have to do our job there's no shot you know he's green as fuck okay Come on. finally after five minutes since they pulled him over they are finally confronting chu as they should have done from the start hey lt so we had the erratic driver call on you um i just knew she's had some observation we have to handle this like anything else He's gonna ask you to step out. We already talked to Lieutenant Brioli. All right. He's, he's gonna he's gonna make sure you're safe to operate the vehicle. Okay? Yeah. The other the other thing is that yeah, an older cop would have known the car and wouldn't have pulled him over. Drive half a mile. I understand, but everything's recorded now, sir. You know that we got to handle it how we have to handle it. That's an insane admission, dude. Like. Like, brother, if I didn't have the body camera, I would let you go is not a great thing to say. Except, you know, his ass didn't get fucking fined for that. Like, there's no scrutiny on it. It's wild. He's like, dude, you can just drunk drive all day, every day in your fucking baby killer mobile. Okay. But, sir, we got you in 4K, sir, Sag. You're in 4K, sir, Sag. <laughs> it's... Trust us, we don't want to be put in this position either. What are you saying? Like, what are you saying? This guy is a drunk driver. Even if he's not a drunk driver, this is normal process. Like, what do you mean you're so sad? I'm so sorry, sir. Can you step out, sir? He's just gonna talk to you. You know how it is. He's gonna ask you some questions. Make sure you're all right. I'm fine. Having finally confronted him, Lieutenant Chu is not fine. Tested for DUI, which, to the surprise of no one, he fails absolutely. Not even being able to put one foot in front of the other. Dog, how are you that trash, dude? How is that? It's broad daylight, brother. Look, listen. As a drunk driving appreciator, okay, I'm afraid this is poor form, okay. It's like, it's like you're that zooted and it's not even 7 p.m. yet. The sun's still out, man. What the fuck's going on? You can only be that drunk driving at like after 12, okay? <laughs> like, this is insane. <laughs> How are you this, this fucking drunk? You act like you've never been to a BBQ. Then, when he's faced with another test, which consists of raising one of your legs and holding the position for a few seconds, he seems to have had enough. Hands together, feet down on your side. You're gonna raise either leg of your choice. You're gonna keep your foot parallel to the ground. And you're gonna count. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. While you're counting, I want you to look down at your toe, keep both knees locked out. You understand? You know what? Hold on, Wait. LT. You don't, you don't want to complete the test? No, I don't. Okay. Is 
Is that the other cop? Nope, never mind. Just a, just another Patriot passing through. I see a big ass truck in New Jersey. I assume that's another cop. You know what I mean? Sure. No. Bro, it's like they want to cry. Yeah. What do you think happens to the cop who arrests a lieutenant for drunk driving? That motherfucker gets no promotions for the rest of his life. You understand that? Absolutely zero people are going to look to that and go, wow, you did a good job, actually. Fuck it. You know what I mean? He's so cooked. His ass is so cooked. He should just quit the force immediately after that. He's like, put the badge down. Put your service weapon on the table, Hank. You're done. <laughs> Sir, you know we won't be put in this position. You know what, John? I get it. No, you don't. You know. No, you don't. <laughs> he don't get it at all, brother. You don't get many things. You can't even stand up. Uh, you don't have your weapon on you or anything? You don't have any firearms? No, it, no. it's shit No, now. it's stuff I got to or LT. Shit now. Okay. No. All right. Seeing no way around it, and especially since they are being recorded, the officers then decide to notify Chu that he'll be detained. Your observations. Oh my God, I just realized with the birds, I think it's it's sunrise. It's not even sunset. I think it's sunrise. Okay, that's a little bit more understandable, I think. 7 a.m., like, that's a bender, dude. He is that fucked up. Yeah, he's he's like, he just did a late night. LT, we're going to have to bring you in and put you on the box based on, on the test. You know we don't want to do this. We have to do, we have to do everything. He was on his way to work. That's why he was drunk. Yeah. He's like, how do you think I can, how do you think I can do such a hard job as a Howell, New Jersey Police Department lieutenant? I have to be fucking drunk. Okay. This is, there's Al Qaeda. Okay. There's terrorists. There's Black Lives Matter thugs. You know what I mean? All these crazy things that could happen in Howell, New Jersey. Okay. I have to, I have to be fucking sloshed. MS-13, okay, you ever heard of La Cosa Nostra, huh? Actually, that is the one valid one, <laughs> the Italian mob. If you recorded, you understand that. No, I get that. Both officers are extremely hesitant to even dare apprehending Lieutenant Chu at this point, most likely fearing to lose their jobs in the aftermath, especially since Chu is capable of saying things like this. I would love to know who called. You can find that out. You know that. You can find that out. Oh my God, dude. He's literally like, yeah, we, we can kill the witness, sir. <laughs> sir, don't worry. Like the, the person, the eyewitness who called it in, uh, we can kill her for you. Don't worry, sir. But we still got to do the process right now. I don't know who called. I do, I do not know, but you know you'll be able to- By the way, this YouTube channel, automatically a, a banger, okay? Uh, immediately, YouTube channel, not dick riding the cops at all. Very openly talking about how shitty they are. Very much a fan, okay? Very cool, Detective Williams. Shocking to see a... Most a, a, criminals. A, oh, never mind. Maybe I spoke too soon. Wait. When cops go too far, when shop predators realize they've been caught... Wait, have we watched this already? Oh my God, there's more. When corrupt cops realize they're done for... Wait a minute. I can't tell. When a rich psychopath calls the police... Okay, I like a lot of these videos. This is not bad. This is not bad at all. Okay, let's continue. Find that out. I'll tell you at this point, our hands are tied. I, mean, I, hope, I hope you understand. I, I totally get it. And we don't want to make the situation any worse, sir. No, listen. You know? I, 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 I know you're not going to make it worse. I understand that. I know you wouldn't. That's what I'm saying. If we can get you in the back of the car. Oh, God, he's a retired detective. Okay, I spoke too soon. Never mind. I spoke too soon. He's a retired detective. Never mind. Oh, buddy. Oh, I was wrong. Okay, my bad. Let me ask you this. One hundred percent, one hundred dollar bet. This dude is a libertarian, so his cop and politician hate is just purely coincidental. But I'm gonna believe. Well, he's a retired cop, so retired hog, also a libertarian, most likely. But whatever, this is good. Let's keep watching. Can I have twenty minutes, sir? You know we cannot do that. Everything is, you, sir. Everything's no, no, I get it. I got, I totally get it. 
see people are starting to drive by it. LT, let's get you out of here, okay? Can, we, can, you, can you come with us? Yeah. After such tension in the interaction, Lieutenant Chu is finally about to be detained, but he yet again refuses to. Bro, is an AI channel? You know it's an AI channel, right? I know the kid that runs it, Lamau. Wait, what? Shut the fuck up. AI channels have gotten to this level? No shot. I mean, there is something weird about the fucking... There is something weird about the narration, but... Yo, we're so cooked. God damn, dude. We are so fucking cooked. We're done. We're done, son. Does this count as an AI channel if they use actual cop footage? I mean, he probably scoured... Lol, he's gonna find out you're reacting to his videos and cancel you? What the fuck do you mean? He's gonna find out that I'm reacting to public domain footage that he uh, sliced together with an artificial intelligence? Like, ain't nobody... Even all of the most aggressive... All of the most aggressive libertarian... Or not libertarian... Uh, react gay dick riders are not gonna fucking actually... <laughs> be like, yeah, that's actually uh, not valid to watch. To give in. Let's go in the back of Mike's car. We'll get you out of here. I don't... Yeah, make sure you know what? what? What's up? I can't let you get in the car. We know that. Well, then you drive it. Well, if you have someone on scene, we can get it... I see Mr. Eccles here. We can Yo, try to get him to... Drive my truck home. Please. What the fuck? The keys are in it. We'll, we'll handle that. LT, we'll handle that. All right. Just do front and search it. Don't put them in the back. I'm saying you cuff me in the front. If that wasn't enough, <laughs> you What? They're so frazzled. Dude, don't put him in the fucking back. What are you doing? Chu even dares to sit in the front seat of the car, completely ignoring the gravity of the matter and thinking himself above the law. <laughs> LT, you know you can't do that, sir. We can't have you in the front seat. I can't have you in the front seat. We're not going to cuff you in the back, okay? We're, we're going to do it in the front, all right? Are you serious? Yeah, sir, you understand this. You would hate to be in our position too. John, John. please, please, John. Please, John. I don't... John, we, please. We'll get you the help you need. Let's just... Come on. This is so good. This is so good. Oh my god, this is the greatest video of all time. I don't give a fuck if artificial intelligence made it. This is such a good video. I have tears. I have like tears of joy coming out of my eyes. Come on, John, please. <laughs> Look at the other cop's face. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> Bro. Guys. 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 I just found out something. Cops can de-escalate and treat people like they're human beings as long as the human being is another cop, especially a lieutenant cop. Turns out cops can reason with another human being like this. Wow. Wha what? What? Okay, the trick is to stop police brutality, everyone has to become a cop. Everyone in the United States of America has to become a cop, which also would truly eliminate crime in general because, like, cops are above the law so they can do all the crimes. And when they do a crime, then it's called civil asset forfeiture, right? Like, you're like, oh, I didn't actually steal handbags from the Gucci store. I, I was engaging in a lawful act of asset forfeiture because I'm a cop. And then when I drove away and blew past eight red lights, drunk driving, I was able to do that because I'm a cop. Does that make sense? You're literally describing apartheid. You're either a cop or a criminal. I mean, yeah, that's the current state of affairs in America. You know we don't want to do this to you. All right, well, we got to get you. We got it. We got it. We I'm 100% a, a firm believer that if every single cop interaction played out like this with civilians, there would be no police brutality. There would be no problem with police. And maybe this is why a lot of like rich white people from the suburbs don't understand when people say like a cab. <laughs> They're like, what? This is my experience with the police. Like what? They are oftentimes very cordial. <laughs> <laughs> wow who would have thought that in order for there truly to be a protect and serve uh, uh 
in practice, you just had to watch a cop basically arrest another lieutenant, a cop, a lieutenant cop. Let's wait and see what happens when the lieutenant reaches into his pocket for his keys. That's the real test. No, they won't do anything. They'll be like, sir, is that a gun in your pocket or are you happy to see me? Because I'll suck it right now. <laughs> I hope, I sure hope that's your cock and not a gun in your pocket, sir, because I'm ready to suck it. Okay, take it out. Whip it out, Lieutenant. We gotta get this process up. People are starting to come. We're all gonna get. You know what? You know what? Other people John, responding out here. You. Sir, I would like just, you. Just this is me. what's gonna happen. We're gonna get you behind this door so no one sees. Mike's gonna put the cuffs on you in the, in the back. No, we, no, we there's no cuffs. You know what it's doing? We have policies and procedures. Let me call the LT. Just you can shut the door for now. Lieutenant Chu is finally detained and put in the car. In the meantime, Officer John calls another lieutenant to find out. There is Lieutenant Chu booking footage. Skip the rest of this video and just watch that. Someone link it for Hassan. Okay, I gotta watch that. The right procedure in this special case. It is then that Chu is handcuffed, but not like everyone else, as in his case, he's cuffed in the front. We got cuffed in the front. We can, we can do it in the front, but we gotta do it. LT, we just talked to Lieutenant Perdoli. We have to, in the front, we'll do it right here. Don't have to do it behind your back. Okay? Please, no. co please cooperate. John, come on. Holy fuck, he was 0.36. That's a real American, brother. That is... Holy, dude. That, that is... That's impressive. That's an impressive amount of uh, blood alcohol right there. That is... God damn, dude. New Jersey media outlets cover the publication of the footage drunk driving arrest of veteran South Jersey police officers BAC tested over four times the legal limit is coming to light over a year later. Lower Township Police Lieutenant John Chu was stopped in the Irma section about for uh, where calls were made for erratic driving. Lieutenant was blasted as a good bender, 0.36. Yeah, that's after he's been arrested and brought in too. Let me tell you something. Listen. There is a long, there is a long time that passed until that man blew on a stationary, uh, uh, what is it called? Like the thing that you blow into in the, in the precinct. It's different than the, than the field breathalyzer test. But anyway, there's a stationary breathalyzer. Um, there's a stationary breathalyzer at the precinct that is, uh, they, they use that in court. You can't use the field breathalyzer in court because the field breathalyzer is actually uh, is is not admissible in court. It's admiss it's enough evidence to arrest you on suspicion that you're drunk driving, but because it's so inconsistent, they can't use that in court. However, the actual breathalyzers they have in the precinct, that one is is adequate, right? Do they only take blood alcohol uh, in court? No. Uh, you have two options. You can either use the breathalyzer at the precinct or you can get your blood alcohol uh, uh, test done in the hospital. These are the two uh, accurate ways that they can get you for drunk driving, which is your constitutional right. And uh, if we weren't living in a nanny state, then, you know, this wouldn't happen. Anyway, um, as I've said time and time again, there's a time between when you get detained and and go to the precinct, which means in that time frame, you might actually, uh, your, your blood alcohol level might go down a little bit, meaning that you were even more drunk when you were fucking driving, especially because of how much time it took for this man to even get arrested. You know a sussy amount about DUIs? Yeah, I mean, I have been arrested for a DUI. Shall we Never convicted. We don't want this to turn into anything more. Never prosecuted. We don't want it. But we cannot lose our jobs. You understand, sir? You're my first sergeant. Thank you. <laughs> you were my first sergeant, sir. I have to get it towed. I have to tell it. Oh, man. But we've had guys get these before and, and get back to work, just so you know. <laughs> what? We've had cops? Get these before and just get back to work? What are you saying? Bro, there is so much incriminating shit that he's just saying on camera. Be totally exonerated? Yes. Hopefully you get the help in I know. Time. I hope so, too. It's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. It's a, 
It's a real shame. Not that he was drunk driving at 7 a.m., okay? But the real shame is that we have to arrest him for it. It's really fucking, it's really sad state of affairs. Not long after, the officer read Chu his Miranda rights, and despite footage not being available, the report says that he lifted his middle finger towards both officers several times during this. Lieutenant Chu was finally put under arrest for DUI and for 450 subsequent to a call for an erratic driver complaint. Then, as his BAC reading ended up giving a 0.36%, which, in this case, is considered to be alcohol poisoning and a potential life-threatening condition, yeah. he was taken- My man was more alcohol than human at the point. He's like, yeah, uh, 0.40 is the potentially lethal threshold. My man is more alcohol than water, brother. That's crazy. Alcohol is a part of an officer's toolkit. Oh my God. Officer down memorial page, whitewashing. No, I have done this before on stream. What do you mean? Dude, if they didn't BAC that high, one in four wouldn't have the courage to administer justice at, administer justice's home. Yeah, you hate to take your work home, but cops do it because they're fucking brave, okay? A lot of people, a lot of woke libtards nowadays, they're too soy. They talk about how they don't want to they don't want to take their work home, okay? Cops on the other hand, they they're practicing at home on their wives. Okay? A lot of you don't recognize the bravery and the and the true grit necessary immediately to a hospital not long after he was suspended from his duty and fired with a $700 fine. But if you thought corrupt cops trying to get away with their crimes is over, that Shut the fuck up. Hold on. I got to watch this booking now. Jesus Christ, what? Where is the booking footage? Okay, I'm gonna close this. John, you have the right to remain silent. You understand that? Okay, duly noted. Well, I can take this much. What is this music? Bro, he is so zooted. What the fuck? Thank you, the Art of Bella. Thank you. They keep apologizing to him as if they're in the uh, wrong. Lemme fail. What is your country, dude? Yeah, because listen, if drunk driving, if getting arrested for drunk driving is right, then I don't want to be right. Okay. What do you mean? We used to, we used to be a nation of values. Do you understand? We used to, like, things used to mean something. Like, being a cop used to mean something back in the day. You could beat the shit out of your wife, harass minorities, maybe even kill them every now and then. Okay, drive drunk. What has happened to America? Things are not as they seem. John, what's your uh, official name? Is it John? Yes. What's your middle name? Hey. You have been arrested for driving while intoxicated. New Jersey statute 39 colon 4 50. The law requires you to the law requires you to submit two samples of your breath for the purpose of testing to determine the alcohol intoxicated driver resource center. These penalties. All right. All right, John, you have the right to remain silent. You understand that? Okay. Duly noted. Yeah, I saw it. The time is uh, 3 14 p.m. And we'll be he was arrested in the morning, I think. Used as evidence against you in a court of law. Do you understand that? Okay. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. Do you wish to? Oh 
Oh my god, he's flipping them off. He is. He's like <laughs> He's like a kid. He's like Oh, it's 7. Oh, okay. It's 8:43 p.m. Wait, so it was it was night. So he was slosh midday. Answer any questions? I'm going to take that as a no. And are you checking the mail for right here? Yeah, John, can you open the mail? Lift up your phone, please. Lift up the phone. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, those are seconds. It's 7 p.m. The video is zoomed in. <laughs> Looking up at the camera. I did. camera I've been a cop for 25 years cameras are the cameras are a cop's worst nightmare John you have to keep your hands away from my face please thank you thank you absolutely no, terrifying <laughs> yeah before you come can you check the fax machine I had to show the old print can you bring that it's not my door we'll trade thanks This guy's LinkedIn says he was rehired. Shut the fuck up. He got a $700 fine for this, and he actually lost his job. Okay? This video is not that great, by the way. It's, like, kind of hard to hear. But it, it, he was rehired. No fucking shot, really? Okay, do you want to put, put John in a situation? you want to put Mike in a situation? Where no, can... no, no. Okay. They have, no. guys, so, they, do um, job. they have to do their job. And yeah. they have to call me because they don't know, you know. No, no. You know, they have concerns. Okay. They do their job. Well, they have no choice. I have no problem with that. Zero problem with that. Uh, Kev. I hope the problem's not with me. Uh, if it is, I'm sorry. No. I'm Bro, he is like, dude, stop apologizing, you fucking loser. What's wrong with you? Jesus Christ. It's your job. I don't apologize for serving the top of the hour ad break. It's my job. People have an understanding that this is my job and that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay? What the hell? I don't know. I know exactly who the problem is. But whatever. Uh, if you want to get breakfast this weekend and discuss it, we can. Uh, I would love to. I can't. I, can't I, I, I would love to. Stuff. John, you're a great cop. Thank you, sir. Nucius? Uh, <laughs> well, um, I don't know. I didn't see him sitting over there. <laughs> Nucius, you're a great cop, too. Thank you, sir. Hey, listen. I hold nothing against you guys. Period. So... No rewinds. Well, I'm not. I missed the best part. No okay, rewinds. Give you one more chance. Okay. I'm gonna rewind and I'm gonna hear them glaze him up. Okay. I'm gonna hear them glaze him up like I have already. It's so sweet. He missed a touching moment. He doesn't hold anything against his fellow frat brothers. He's not even mad. Okay. Yeah. You got a second DUI in 2020. Apparently, shut the fuck up. So this is the first DUI was on June. 22nd, uh, 2019. And then he got another DUI and it took them a year to even release the footage of the first DUI. No, it was April 2017 and it took them a year. Oh, no, it was April 20... No, no, no. Oh, what the fuck? It was 2017. No, he, he didn't get a... He was investigating a hit and run incident tracking vehicle debris and tire tracks for hours until he ended up at the doorstep of a different lower township police officer who Chu arrested on a slew of charges. So he's actually arrested other cops. Classic thin blue line. Uh -huh. 
think it's in your best interest to blow. You may not like the number, but at least uh, you can fight that. You know, when you, when you refuse, that takes away a defense. So that's up to you. No, I fucking understand that. Okay. Well, if you understood really? it, you, you okay. um, John, I'm not here to argue with you. I know. I'm just here to like make sure that they don't put themselves in a bad position. Never blow. It's illegal for them, I'm pretty sure, to not blow. I think once you're arrested and you're at the precinct, you can refuse to blow on a field breathalyzer test, but I think you have to blow on a, uh, on the precinct one or a blood test, one or the other. And even if you, you don't, in certain states, you can refuse to blow on a field breathalyzer test, but that is still grounds for them to take away your driver's license. Okay. Yeah. These guys are great, huh? I know. You know, we're going to run the machine anyway and fire it. We're going to prepare the machine, too. Yeah, we have to. Okay. About no, five more minutes. You can get a blood test because you can sober up while waiting for the phlebotomist. Let me tell you something, brother. He blew way hours later. He blew a 0.36. There is no, unless the phlebotomist is coming three days later, he's still over the legal limit. Okay. Or whatever the fuck a phlebotomist of, is that <laughs> phlebotomist Lamont Poggers spelling? Is that, I don't fucking, I don't know. I'm just reading whatever the fuck Chad is saying. I don't know what. A, blood, a professional blood drawer is called. I thought it was called a nurse or a vampire. A blood doctor. John, your face, buddy. John. Keep, can you thank you? Oh, fuck. I know. Everyone does it. We have to remind everybody. You know that. Wait, did he say everyone does it and I missed it? John, you really got to keep yeah. your hands away from your face for us, please. <clears throat> Not intentional. I, I know. Okay. Hands, please. I'm going to skip some of this. <laughs> He's like, sit your ass back down, John. See, in 2023, cops can now say, listen, brother, the president had his mug shot. You're not above it, okay? That's all I'm saying. 2023, Donald Trump got one. You ain't sweet. It's necessary. I'll ensure that it's removed from the server and no one else has access to it, okay? I, I, I get that, but we, we still have to do what we have to do. I like that he cares more about, like, other cops making fun of him. Because, like, he knows his ass is not going to jail for this crime that he is very clearly committed, right? Like, he's more, he's more mad about, like, that's why he's talking about the mugshot. Like, he's like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to get this photo taken of me. Mostly because, like, the boys are going to make fun of me for it, right? Like, they're not going to, they're not going to take me seriously afterwards. You only think that if you already know you're not getting into trouble. You're not going to jail. You're not going to jail. And now the, the real thing is the, the social consequences.
Mr. Chairman. Look at the gray wall. To your right. Turn your head to the right. Turn your head to the right. That's it. Thanks, John. Thanks. I am fucking retiring tomorrow. John, don't. Don't. I am. He's like, you'll be sorry. I'm leaving. I'm retiring. You'll all be sorry. Oh. Fucking retiring tomorrow. John, if you're, if you're seriously considering something like that, you really should speak to somebody on the pension board before you do that, okay? And that's Bill telling John some good advice. But if that's what you have to do, that's what you have to do. I'm done tomorrow. Brother, if you retire, you can't drunk drive without consequences, though. You know what I mean? Like, then you might actually face legal repercussions. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't I wouldn't bust that nut so quick. Can we talk about it tomorrow, maybe, John? You know what? Maybe. This is so awkward. This is like the most awkward I've ever seen. A bunch of professional cops just like sitting around in a room. You can cut the tension with a knife, dude. The biggest mistake ever made was me not coming to work for the last five days. Why you already get that picture in the rest of they didn't release this footage. Someone leaked it to the press. <laughs> Not even the press. They leaked it to this, like, random fucking YouTube channel. Real World Police. Give me one second. I It was a FOIA request. The police did not want to release it initially. That's so funny. Apollo Nor, why are you writing in the chat like you don't live in fucking Ohio? Are you LARPing like you live in the Netherlands or something? Why would you hide this? They've destroyed the trust the community has in them. For shame. Motherfucker, you live in Ohio. <laughs> he's he's role-playing. He's role-playing like he lives in a country where there's like at least some level of confidence in the in the police. <laughs> why would they hide this? <laughs> How do you know they live in Ohio? Dude, I know something about every one of my chatters. Alright, so Monday at 9. Uh, I don't know, have they told you what your reading is? No. You're a 3 6. So, for oh. protocol, you're going to have to go to the hospital. Uh, I've already made arrangements, so brought that. I'm, I'm not going. John, to the John, you're going to the hospital, please. 
dog, you you blew a three six multiple hours after your arrest. You literally aren't going to the hospital for like embarrassment. You're going to the hospital because you blew so high, you have the capacity to die. Okay? Like, if you are not properly hydrated, you could die. That's the sign of a fucking true alcoholic, by the way, that he was at least, like, coherent. Blowing a fucking point three six. Like, that's crazy. That... Because, like, at first you were watching him and he couldn't even stand up straight. And I was like, damn, he must be sloshed. And then I realized hours after that, he blew a 3-6. Most of your Twitter haters will blow that, I swear. Yeah, that's what, they, that's what, they're, that's what they're running on before they post their fucking sick-ass uh, tweets. Just, just not going makes everything even a little bit more worse for you. Please just go to the hospital. You know that you have to. If your guys brought you somebody that was a three six and said he's not No shot they send a normal civilian to hospital, first of all, they absolutely would. I get why they would. Uh they would just cuff him at the hospital. Trust me, I've been there. Let me tell you, they will take you to the hospital with handcuffs. It's just that's what it is. Going. What would you tell him? He's going. Okay. John, we, we gotta follow the rules. And quite frankly, if you're a three six, I I am concerned about your health. Okay. So you're going to go to the hospital. Rest no, I'm John. not. You're going. Don't make us tie you down, John. Don't I'm not. You you want us to tie you down on video? Really? You're worried about your mugshot? I already deleted your mugshot. It's only in your arrest report. Can you do this for me? In any case, let me finish. Uh, Rob Eckel sat by the scene while they were towing your car. He's already offered to sign for you at the hospital, but you'll have to do whatever the hospital requires, okay? So Rob's going to meet us at the hospital, and then he's going to pick you up when, when you're ready. Damn, they didn't do that to Donald Trump, let me tell you. Okay, let's watch this new one. All right, this is the second cop that did a crime. Fine. But if you thought corrupt cops trying to get away with their crimes is over, that's because you don't know Michael Kyle Dunn. Newton County Chief Deputy Michael Dunn had been driving before a police officer had just seen him swerve almost entirely off the road. That same cop is back in service. I worked 1,000 hours to make this fan cam of you can watch. This is from 27th of November, 2021. I'm not clicking on this. That's two years old. No shot. Road in rural Boone, Arkansas. Boone. Continued even hey, Arkansas, brother. Let's go. After the officer got closer to him. So this being. Why are these during the day? Listen, silly libtard. When can a cop fucking drink? A suspicious and dangerous sign was enough reason for the officer to pull him Ooh, over. Boy, oh, boy. Oh, boy. officer know of who he was actually going against. Hello. Hey. I'm Trooper Valentine, Arkansas State Police. Stop because you look like you're having trouble controlling your vehicle. All right, what's going on? A lot. I got you. Your arm? Okay, where is it? Huh? It's on your chest. Huh? 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 <laughs> Been drinking a little? Yeah. Okay. All right. Can I see your driver's license? Huh? Yeah. Where are you coming from? Um, just over Missouri. Okay. How much have you had to drink? Not much. Okay. Well, is your vehicle off? Turn it off for me. All right. Go ahead and step out with me, okay? okay? So you got a gun on you? It's off. It's off of you? Is it in the vehicle? Yeah. Okay. So you're a deputy? I'm the chief deputy. You're the chief? Okay. 
Well, so you you know better. I've had some bad times. Okay. Well, I understand that. Uh, but, I mean, you know we can't be out driving if we've been drinking. Why is this set up like a gay porn? Like, I feel like they're going to fuck. You know what I mean? Listen, listen, Chief, you seem fucked up. Let me tell you, I'll let you out scot-free after I get a little taste myself. Yeah. And, uh... You know, I caught you coming back onto the highway back there. You almost hit a sign. And then How do I know about gay porn? Because I watch it when I'm fucking your dad's asshole, chatter. That's how I know about it. I throw it on the fucking TV as I blow your fucking father's back walls out, okay? And followed you for a little while, and you touch the yellow line twice, touch the white line twice, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, so I'm going to do some tests on you, all right? You know how all this is going to go. See that, guy's State Trooper, he's got way more drip? Yeah, he's also in way better shape. Even though the deputy's in pretty good shape, too, for Arkansas. Jesus Christ. Uh, if you are impaired, there's nothing I can do for you, Okay. Because it's not, uh, it wasn't my choice, whatever you've done. And, you know, my job's going to be on the line just like yours is, okay? Having explained the situation and later discovering that Michael... I love, I love that every single time a cop is getting arrested for drunk driving, they're like, listen, I'm real sorry to do this to you, but uh, listen, I got to cover my own ass, you know? Men talking to each other is so cringe. <laughs> could be drunk, the officer puts him to do the appropriate sobriety tests, regardless of his status. But clues, Incorruptible. I think it would be that simple. All right, go ahead and stand. All right, you gonna, you gonna be all right? Yeah. All right, go ahead and stand up for me right here, okay? And face my car. You wanna go through these tests or you just want me to take you in? Huh? I won't take you to Newton, we're in Boone right now. So I'd be taking you to Boone. Okay. I know it sucks. This is the most jack cop. No, uh state troopers are uh have uh state troopers are almost always I don't, I can't I mean even in Arkansas I guess uh they always have uh, more strict uh physical like they have they have standards. They have like actual standards on like the the normal local police department so he can run through the cornfield. No, like they no, they state troopers are like they state troopers do have uh uh like actual standards. Your precinct can only get those hats if you have physical fitness standards. <laughs> yeah. They they got to wear those goofy ass hats so they have to look fit, okay? Otherwise they're going to make fun of them. Otherwise everyone's going to be like, "Lol, look at your fucking clown ass hat. What are you a Canadian? What the hell is this?" And that's why you can't say that to him cuz he's fucking yoked. <laughs> But like I said, it's not my choice. You can't give me a break, man. You know I can't. Absolutely can't. It's on camera. I can't do anything about it. Yeah, I can't give you a break because it's on camera. But I don't even think this guy gives a shit. I think this guy wouldn't have given him a break anyway because he was fucking swerving. And if I'm not mistaken, he's not from Arkansas, right? He's the chief deputy of a, uh, uh, of a totally... He's from like a different state, I think. Uh, got family out here on this yeah highway. he said missouri misery so good luck he's a foreigner he's basically not white okay <laughs> does have our kansas plates but he's a cop in my county dog yeah, i'm sure you do too seeing no other option chief michael proceeded to try to come to an agreement with the officer in a bid to get himself out of trouble but he was faced by a solid negative response not because the officer couldn't do so but because they were being recorded all right so again it's up to you but like i said we can't sit here all day so either we can do some tests here i can pbt you we can see where you're at you know the law if you're under eight percent uh i mean it's still it's still up to me you know between four percent and eight percent whether i want to take you to jail or not i do have some bad driving if you're under eight percent i can work with you if you got somebody that can come get you we can go that route okay if Seriously. I've, I can't do that. I can't, without testing you, yes, sir. You know that I have no discretion when it comes to DWIs. Mr. Bill. Ain't nobody, yeah, 8% would be, like, 
super dead chat. He means 0.8%. <laughs> okay. My man is 8% alcohol. <laughs> yeah, he drank the fucking alcohol fruit, okay? He ate he ate the fucking beer beer fruit. He's just 8% beer. <sighs> Turns into beer his arm. Logia fruit. God, I'm such a fucking nerd. Okay, let's continue. It, no, it's not. We've got cameras. We've got everything else. It's not like it used to be. Realizing that times now are... Second time. Yo, this is so good. So good. It's not like it used to be. We could have let you go. We could have let you go back in the day, partner. Can't do that no more. Different, and it's not how it used to be. Michael knows he's in big trouble now. All right, do me a favor. Walk up this way. Go ahead and put your hands on my car. All right, we're just going to go through this like we normally do. I just got to follow policy, man. If I want them to back me up, I got to do what they want me to do. All right. Go ahead and put your hands on there. Bring your feet backward toward me. No, put your hands on the car for me. Bring your feet back. Oh, so spread them wide, back. partner. <laughs> Told you it was a gay porn. You guys are like, Hassan, shut the fuck up. Why do you know? Look at that, dude. He's getting down in there, brother. He's getting down in there, partner. He's spreading them. Hey, don't you pinch down there. Don't right. you squeeze them cheeks. Professional courtesy, if you want. We can, uh, I can just cuff you in the front, sit you in the back of my car. You want to do that? Or you'd rather have him behind your back? Cuff me. Seriously. Like I said, it's policy. Okay. All right? Yeah. You want me to follow policy? I think it's bullshit, by the way, but... Okay. Then, Michael is finally arrested and put in the back seat of the car. Let's go. I'll follow you. I'm sitting in the back seat. Yeah, we'll sit you in the back seat. Go ahead. Okay, yeah, sure. Go ahead. No, I... We'll go on that side. No, go on the passenger side. You want me both of them? Are you serious? You know what we're doing? I mean, that's up to you, I guess. Man. It's not my fault. Don't look at me like it. No, no, it's my fault. Okay. I mean, like I said, I, I do not want to do this. Back seat, no cuffs. Front seat, yes cuffs. If you want to sit in the front seat, department policy, you have to wear cuffs. Uh, if you're arrested and you're a cop, I guess. Which is weird that the department would have a fucking policy like that. I mean, not like if you're doing a ride-along. Like, I had to do a ride-along uh, in college. You know? And they didn't fucking cuff me when I was sitting in the front seat. But I'm saying, like, I guess they have a policy specifically for cops when the cops are arrested. No, he meant cuff his hands in the front, not behind his back? No, I thought, I thought that they were offering him that as an option. Like, if you sit in the back, I won't cuff you. If we sit in the front, I will have to cuff you. Oh, he means like actually the fucking. Oh, because in the other video, the guy sat in the front. Oh, he meant the apartment policy cuff you in the front or the back. Okay, they're offering him professional courtesy. Oh, my God. They're giving him professional courtesy. They're saying cuff you in the back or the front. Okay, I misunderstood. Just to another law enforcement officer. Who would ever choose back? Freaks. Real subs. You know what I mean? Come hungry subs. I've always heard about it happening. I never wanted it to happen to me. Okay? But like I said, there's nothing I can do about it. Right. You understand that? No, I it's do not understand. Me. I know. I know it's not on you. All right. If you were some other guy out here, you know, driving around, suspended, you know, no job, whatever, I'd be doing the same thing. Here, Michael has realized that he's done for professionally. But if that wasn't enough already, his wife's friend that came to pick up his truck brought him more bad news. You can talk to him if you want. Can you let me out, man? I mean, well, I don't want to do that. And I'm not saying you're going to run or do anything stupid, but, you know. Oh my god, the wife's boyfriend. And you are no better than Jamie Ralston. And she, all she wants to say to you is for you to come get your stuff. Because if you cared about her, you wouldn't do this.
Finally, Dunn was fined $800 for refusing to do a chemical test of his breath. He resigned from his position as chief and was sentenced to one year in prison. But cops trying to use power in their Damn. favor doesn't stop. Damn! He lost his wife? He lost his job? Dude, that's crazy that he actually went to prison for a year. Up here, it gets even worse. Pinellas County Deputy Sheriff Shelby Elise Cornelio had been driving on the highway during the night of May 17, 2022, when a police officer decided to pull her over for going at 56 miles per hour in a 40 mile per hour zone and driving erratically. After stopping her, the officer approached Elise and asked her for- Bro, I love this. Every fucking cop is drunk driving. Dude, cop, cops drunk drive like their lives depend on it, okay? <laughs> they, they drunk drive like they have to or else they die. Her ID, never expecting that the first thing that she would say would be... Can I see your driver's license registration proof insurance? I'm a Pinellas County deputy. Okay. And my driver's license Huh? I'm a Pinellas County deputy. Knowing that she doesn't have her driver's license, she immediately turns to her position as a county deputy in an attempt to be released. Little did she know of how bad things will turn to her in the end by having this attitude. Yeah, they have a breathalyzer in the car that only starts when they are above 08. Yeah, they they have the reverse. Uh, they have the reverse breathalyzer where the cop every 15 minutes. Every 15 minutes, you have to pull over and blow into it to make sure that you're consistently over a point zero eight. okay? <laughs> Unlike the other thing where you have to fucking stop the car and blow into it to keep it going. <laughs> Reverse interlock. <laughs> Do you have your license registration? Yeah, that's why they got road sodas on the side, too. It's like, fuck, I'm under an 08. Take a little sip, keep going. Oh. You know, do you have your ID on you? Uh, Do you have uh, any weapons on you? No. Okay. Well, I'm a deputy, but... Well, that's why I'm asking. Do you have any weapons on you? On I live place? right there. Okay. I would normally, but... <laughs> She's like, we can go back to my house. I can show you my guns. What does that mean? Like, I live right there. I got guns. Don't worry. I can show them to you. <laughs> Do you have your some kind of ID or anything on you? My ID is not here, but mm -hmm. I'm a Pinellas County deputy. Okay. Do you have some kind of ID on you? No. I was just driving that way. I dropped my friend off, and then I went this way because my I live right there. I get that, but I pulled you over because you were flying past everybody, and you were... Cutting. No, I was just driving... Okay, when the I was pulling behind way. you, at this point you were going like 56 and a 40. You were flying. No, I was not flying. Oh. I was just Do you have your going... registration with your name on it or anything? Okay. Well, this car is not mine, so... Okay. Do you have anything with your name on it? Having been asked to provide any type of identification multiple times and not providing one, Elise finally finds her driver's license, but not her work license, so everything she's saying could be a lie. Do you have your uh, work ID? No, it's at home in my cruiser. Okay. Where do you live at? I live at... Okay. So not the address in your license? No. Whose car is this? My father's. Then, as the first officer is running her ID and license plate, another male officer approaches Elise and starts talking with her. And it's right here we can clearly see that she's definitely under the influence of something. Did you say you were a deputy? Yes. Where at? The last county sheriff's office. Oh, you're with yeah. SL, nice. Yeah. How long you been with that? Five years. I mean, I could get out, I could get in. I mean, you could come in. No, no, you're good right now. Listen, I'm you're just good. trying to, I'm just, I don't know. Whatever you guys want to do, whatever oh, it you're is. Good. I'm just, I live at that light right there. Gotcha. So if you want to hang out, if you don't want to <laughs> hang out. Where are you coming from? Bro, shut the uh, fuck. Not even the other cop is entertaining it. She's like, you can come out, you can get in, we can do a little in and out. You know what I'm saying? What happened? Did she sneak in a jello shot while the other cop was walking away? She's like, 
remarkably drunker now, it seems. Even long. Um, you know Gandhi Boulevard? Mm -hmm. I picked up a picked up someone, brought them over to their house, and then I was going back to my house. Gotcha. Because I am just living my life. I gotcha. And they actually live with Pinellas. And so I was like, oh, I'll bring you home. What? Boom, boom, okay. boom, boom. Easy. Gotcha. I spent a year, but... Where from? What? Wait. Hmm? So you're Spanish? Yeah, you from say where? You say where? Mm-hmm. Honey, you know I speak... You speak Spanish? Mm-hmm. Ah, pero way. <laughs> pero way. Ah, okay. I'm Dominican. Dominican? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. No. What's wrong with uh, that? Italiano, okay? Uh, and wait, I only what? speak uh, some Spanish. What? What? For the most part, <laughs> Italiano. Gotcha. But she pulled me over. I do whatever. Yo! But you're saying Pete, so okay. it's <laughs> Not long after, Elise is made to step out of the car for further questioning. And it's here when she finally realizes the big trouble she's into. Italiano. She said it, she's Italian. Wait. Why did, when she went, ah, uh, nah, ah. Uh, when he said he's Dominican, I was like, oh, he, she's definitely Puerto Rican. Okay. Because like, when, <laughs> no, I did not expect her to be Italian. I expected her to be Puerto Rican. Okay. As soon as she went, uh-uh, when she went um, Dominican, I was like, oh, okay, she's like Puerto Rican. She's white. She's definitely Latina. Did not expect her to fucking pull a fast one and be like, no, I'm actually Italian. <laughs> she was just being racist. <laughs> but, like, not in a Puerto Rican versus Dominican way. A different kind of racism. Can, we, are you, can you walk over? Are you able to walk over here? Yeah, in the... Well, no, I just want to get on the right, sidewalk, so we're not. Shit. Oh, all right. All right. I'm talking to you, I am getting some signs of impairment. Okay, can I check your eyes real quick? You know what? She got cooked because this is a female cop that pulled her over. Let's be real, okay? Let's keep it a buck fifty. Male cop, if the male cop was the one who pulled her over, she is spending the night not in jail, okay? Only handcuffs they're slapping on is voluntary, baby. No shot. Really? Dude, this dog is out of control, by the way. Like, I don't understand how she's comfortable like this. 